Hey, welcome back everyone. Thanks for watching. So how many of you seen these new polls showing that Americans, a majority of Americans have now lost confidence in Joe Biden? Because of that, the Democrat state media propagandists are working overtime to soften the blow due to Joe Biden's disastrous retreat from Afghanistan. Now, I do admit that we've seen some media actually be critical of Joe Biden, which I think has surprised us all. However, it now seems like they're pulling back, fearing that they might hurt Democrats in the midterms. Which brings us to the the overstuffed bratwurst known as Brian Stelter. Everyone has an opinion about the media's coverage of Afghanistan, the withdrawal, and the Biden administration. So let's dig into it. <laughs> Already, he's starting off as if there's something wrong if you have a critical opinion of the job that Joe Biden has done. Knives out for Biden, Tucker Carlson says, claiming the press has turned on the president. Now Carlson spun it as a conspiracy theory, of course. Because remember, anything the Democrat state press disagrees with is a conspiracy theory. Forget the fact that Brian Stelter's entire segment here is that criticizing Joe Biden is some sort of a conspiracy against him. But they can do that because it's different when they do it. Now you're gonna wanna see the rest of Stelter's pathetic display, but first give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this special offer from healthwithdronetech.com. Studies show that the adult body produces 10% less collagen every decade. If you're over 40, that should terrify you. Collagen is the glue that holds our bodies together. If you're seeing more defined wrinkles or feeling lethargic, realize it has nothing to do with your diet, sleep schedule, workout routine, or whether you smoke or drink. It has all to do with your body's natural collagen production. This is why I highly recommend healthwithdronetech.com. Learn more by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com. Furthermore, you'll get 51% off your first bottle if you order today, plus a 60-day money-back guarantee. I'm not just talking about far-right wing coverage, which has been predictably over the top. <laughs> You're accusing Newsmax of being predictably over the top? No, we're just gonna keep going. I'll come back to this later. There was a Newsmax segment alleging that the Afghan mess exposed quote, Joe's cognitive issues. They don't even have enough respect for him to call him the president. But the mainstream media's tone has also been scathing. I heard complaints from Biden aides about this. <laughs> Think about that. He's seriously reporting that Biden's aides are complaining about criticism about Joe Biden. Because remember, criticizing Democrats is outside the bounds of normalcy. So when you're doing it, it's an attack. It's only legitimate if you're going after the Democrats' political opposition. So... Is this exactly what anchors and reporters should be doing? Yes! Yes! This is exactly what you claim you're supposed to be doing. Holding power to account. Holding the administration accountable? <laughs> yes! Or has the coverage been out of proportion? <laughs> out of proportion? You spent the last seven months carrying his water and attacking anybody who dares criticize him, while at the same time constantly deflecting to the last president, which you didn't respect and attacked on a regular daily basis. I swear, I just want to grab him by his triple chin and just smack him in the face repeatedly airplane style. <laughs> Calm down, now get back to your seat. I'll take care of this. Calm down. Calm down. Get a hold of yourself. Don't do your one on the phone. <laughs> Everything's going to be all right. Please. Sister, please. 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 So look, first off, as long as I've been paying attention to politics, the opposing party never refers to the other president as president, usually just by their last name. For example, they always referred to President Bush as just Bush or even the Bush regime, implying that his administration was illegitimate and the election stolen. Because again, it's different when they do it. But you don't even have to go back that far because just three weeks ago, Brian Stelter was comparing Trump to the mass murdering cult leader, Jim Jones. Before that, Hitler, Mao, Stalin, and he suggested on multiple occasions that Trump was a Russian spy. And in regards to Joe Biden's quite obvious cognitive decline, I fail to see how calling that out or criticizing him is far right. Especially when Stelter and the rest of the Democrat state media were constantly claiming that Trump had cognitive issues and were calling for him to be removed using the 25th Amendment. Is the President of the United States a racist? Is he suffering from some kind of illness? Is he fit for office? And if he's unfit, then what? I'm not just talking about far right wing coverage, which has been predictably over the top. There was a Newsmax segment alleging that the Afghan mess exposed quote, 
those cognitive issues. I know this stuff is really annoying to watch, but look at it this way. They wouldn't be lying this badly if they weren't really desperate. They're really worried about Joe Biden's popularity dropping before the midterms. And with these new polls showing that most Americans don't think that Joe Biden is competent, we're going to see a lot more of this desperation. All right, folks, that's all for this one. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments.